Now let's talk about coffee additives. Many people ask, does adding dairy to your coffee blunt its beneficial effects? The short answer is partially yes, especially if your goal is rapid polyphenol absorption and maximum cognitive benefit. So here's what happens. Milk contains casein and whey proteins, which bind tightly to coffee's main antioxidants, the chlorogenic acids. These protein polyphenol complexes slow down early absorption in the small intestine, reducing the sharp immediate surge in these antioxidants in your bloodstream by about 20 to 30%. Instead, polyphenols travel farther down the digestive tract where the gut microbiomes eventually break them down. You're not losing the benefits completely, but you're massively delaying them and modifying how these compounds are metabolized. If you want to have immediate brain-enhancing effects, such as improved cognition, rapid antioxidant activity, and early anti-inflammatory signaling, black coffee or coffee with minimal protein is the way to go. Even small amounts of dairy can significantly blunt this rapid polyphenol availability. On the other hand, if your priority is general health, gut microbiome support, or simply taste and enjoyment, modest dairy consumption likely won't erase coffee's broader benefits. But if you want peak immediate cognitive enhancement from coffee's polyphenols, I strongly suggest you keep your coffee black or use a small amount of plant-based milk, such as almond milk, which interacts minimally with these beneficial compounds. Or what about MCT powder? Medium chain triglycerides or MCTs behave differently from dairy proteins. Unlike casein and whey protein in milk, MCT powder does not bind polyphenols in coffee, so it won't significantly delay their absorption or blunt their rapid bioavailability. In fact, adding MCT to your coffee can potentially enhance cognitive benefits through a different pathway by increasing ketone levels, which provide an alternative rapidly available energy source for neurons. This can support alertness, focus, and even mood, especially in a fasted or low-carb state. But there is another critical point to consider when you're using MCT powder, and that would be the saturated fat content. Heavy cream, MCT powders, these contain substantial amounts of saturated fat. And if you're consuming multiple cups of coffee daily, say three to four cups, you could be easily taking in an extra 15 to 20 grams of saturated fat per day in just your coffee. Consistent high saturated fat intake does elevate ApoB containing lipoproteins, which is the primary driver of cardiovascular disease risk. So you don't want to be consistently elevating your ApoB with every cup of coffee that you're drinking. If you do drink coffee frequently throughout the day, it's probably wise to be mindful of what you add to your coffee. So occasional use of MCT or cream is likely harmless, but multiple times a day, and you're doing if you're doing heavy additions of it to your coffee, it might actually have a significant impact on your lipid profile. If you do want to keep your ApoB in check while maximizing coffee health benefits, you should probably stick with black coffee or small amounts of cream, small amounts of MCT, or also opt for the unsweetened plant-based milks like almond milk. Another common question I get is, can you add something to your coffee to amplify its cognitive benefits and reduce some of the jitteriness caffeine can cause? And the answer is yes. A particularly effective compound is L-theanine. This is an amino acid naturally found in green tea that readily crosses the blood-brain barrier. L-theanine works synergistically with caffeine. On its own, caffeine enhances alertness by blocking adenosine receptors, boosting dopamine and norepinephrine. Great for focus, but sometimes this creates anxiety or jitteriness. L-theanine increases GABA and glycine signaling in the brain, creating a state of characterized alpha brain waves. These are the primary brain rhythms that are linked to calm, attentive states without sedation. So what you're doing by pairing the two is essentially smoothing out caffeine's stimulatory spike. Multiple studies show that combining roughly 100 to 200 milligrams of L-theanine with about 100 to 150 milligrams of caffeine, approximately the amount in a standard cup of coffee, significantly improves cognitive performance. People experience enhanced sustained attention, faster reaction times, better accuracy on demanding cognitive tasks, and notably fewer feelings of anxiety or jitters. L-theanine even dampens caffeine's transient blood pressure increase without sacrificing alertness. So practically speaking, here's what I think is best for maximizing the cognitive benefits of coffee. Pair about one cup of coffee, so 100 to about 150 milligrams of caffeine, 
with about 100 to 200 milligrams of L-theanine. Take them at the same time. They have similar absorption kinetics. So if you simultaneously take them, that works the best. You can easily find L-theanine as a powder or a capsule. It dissolves directly into coffee and has minimal taste effects. So this combination is really safe. It's well studied and it's low risk at these doses. I do want to make it absolutely clear that L-theanine doesn't remove caffeine's sleep disrupting effects. So you still need to keep caffeine intake early in the day. But if you're looking for that calm, sustained, jitter-free cognitive boost from coffee, adding L-theanine really is a powerful scientifically validated tool.